Our solar system is both fascinating and peculiar. Some moons, seemingly frozen solid, hide secret subsurface oceans of liquid water. We have a neighboring planet with an atmosphere so thick and hot it can melt lead. Distant gas giants experience such extreme pressures and temperatures that hydrogen turns into an exotic liquid metal. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Our planet Earth is the most unusual of all, a warm, wet world where life thrives across its surface, a phenomenon not observed anywhere else. Beyond the eight main planets in the Kuiper Belt, new and intriguing objects are being discovered, like the rapidly spinning egg-shaped dwarf planet Haumea. Scientists think the outer solar system might be filled with hundreds of these elusive dwarf planets. There could also be something much larger out there, known as Planet Nine. In January 2015, Caltech astronomers presented new evidence of a giant, undiscovered planet, possibly hiding in the darkness of space. Through detailed mathematical models and computer simulations, they suggested that Planet Nine might explain the unique orbits of some distant dwarf planets and smaller bodies that cluster together influenced by an unseen gravitational force. This hypothetical planet is thought to be Neptune-sized, with a mass about 10 times that of Earth. It likely orbits the Sun far beyond Pluto on a highly elongated path, taking between 10,000 and 20,000 Earth years to complete. At its farthest point, Planet Nine could be over 100 billion miles, 160 billion kilometers, away from the Sun. While this evidence hints at a ninth planet in our solar system, its existence remains theoretical until astronomers can directly observe it. Such a distant object would be very faint and hard to detect. For now, we can only imagine what Planet Nine might look like. According to science, there are three main possibilities. The first possibility is a rocky planet nine, unlike the terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, or Mars. It could be a bizarre, possibly volcanic world scarred by fire. A common type of planet found around other stars in our galaxy is a rocky super-Earth, larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. However, no such planet has been found in our solar system. Could Planet Nine be our missing super-Earth? A rocky planet with 10 times Earth's mass would likely retain a lot of internal heat, making it geologically active. Despite its distance from the sun, its surface would be dimly lit by distant stars and the glow of its volcanic landscape. Standing on its dark surface, you might see huge volcanoes, deep canyons, and towering mountains. Although made from the same materials as Earth, it would be inhospitable for life as we know it. Its great distance from the sun would make its surface extremely cold, possibly around minus 226 degrees Celsius, minus 375 degrees Fahrenheit. These low temperatures might cause hot lava to freeze quickly upon contact with the coldness of space, forming black glass called obsidian. This world would be both magnificent and terrifying. However, a rocky planet nine poses a problem because early solar system models suggest there wasn't enough rocky material to form Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and a giant planet nine that was ejected to the outer fringes. So could it instead be a world made of ice? Planet Nine, an enigmatic celestial body hypothesized to reside in the outer reaches of our solar system, remains an elusive phantom. Its existence is inferred from the peculiar orbital patterns of a group of distant objects, but direct observation has thus far eluded astronomers. Given its hypothetical nature, any description of its appearance is speculative, rooted in theoretical models and analogies. If Planet Nine exists, it is likely a behemoth, potentially 10 times the mass of Earth. Its immense gravity is believed to be influencing the orbits of distant objects in the Kuiper Belt. Due to its frigid, distant location, it is improbable that Planet Nine is a terrestrial planet like Earth, Venus, or Mars. Instead, 
It is more likely to resemble the ice giants, Uranus, and Neptune. This suggests a world shrouded in thick layers of icy gases, primarily composed of methane, ammonia, and water. The planet's atmosphere, if it exists, would be a frigid expanse, possibly tinged with hues of blue or green due to the presence of methane. The planet's surface, if visible through the thick atmosphere, would likely be a frozen, desolate landscape, dotted with icy craters and mountains. However, given the extreme cold, any surface features would be obscured by a thick layer of frost. It's also possible that Planet 9 possesses a ring system similar to Saturn, although the exact nature of such rings is purely speculative. The frigid temperatures could lead to the formation of icy particles that could coalesce into rings. In essence, our image of Planet 9 is a composite of theoretical deductions and imaginative visualizations. It is a world of extremes, a frigid giant lurking in the cosmic twilight. As technology advances and our exploration of the solar system deepens, we may one day unveil the true nature of this mysterious planet, transforming our speculative image into a concrete reality. Until then, Planet Nine remains a tantalizing enigma, fueling the imaginations of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The elusive Planet Nine, which may or may not lurk in the outer reaches of the solar system, could be surrounded by a small swarm of potential moons, a new study reveals. What's more, these moons could be the key to finding the missing planet. Planet Nine, if it exists, lurks beyond the orbit of Neptune in an icy region known as the Kuiper Belt. Scientists first proposed the existence of Planet Nine in a 2016 study in the Astronomical Journal. They used the hypothetical planet as a possible explanation for the unusual orbits of several extreme trans-Neptunian objects, etnos, asteroids, comets, moons, or dwarf planets, that are beyond 30 astronomical units from the Sun. One astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun. Researchers think the trajectory of these etnos can be best explained by the gravitational force of an undiscovered mass. Based on these orbits, Planet 9 is likely between 5 and 10 times larger than Earth and orbits the Sun from around 250 times farther away than our planet does. There have even been suggestions that the elusive object could be a mini black hole. So far, scientists searching in the area haven't found any light signatures from Planet 9. But that's not surprising. The planet is too far away to be properly illuminated by the sun, so the only way to spot it would be if it eclipsed a distant light source, such as a galaxy or star within the Milky Way. In a new paper submitted to the Astrophysical Journal and uploaded to the preprint database archive, a researcher has proposed that the key to finding Planet Nine could be its satellite bodies. Man Ho Chan, an astronomer at the Education University of Hong Kong, used estimations of the size and gravity of Planet Nine. Combined with the number of potential etnos close enough to be pulled into a permanent orbit around the dark planet to estimate Planet Nine's potential moons. Chan found that up to 20 satellites could orbit the proposed planet, each of which could measure up to around 62 miles 100 kilometers across. The story of Planet Nine began in earnest in early 2016 when astronomers Mike Brown and Constantine Batigan published a paper called Evidence for a Distant Giant Planet in the Solar System. There was talk of other undiscovered planets before then, but it was mostly just chatter from the tinfoil brigade regarding Nibiru, or Planet X. But the less said about that, the better. In their 2016 paper, Batigan and Brown showed that there are groups of KBOs whose orbits are shaped in such a way that only the presence of another planet can explain them. Planet Nine. While the orbit of most KBOs show clear evidence of being shepherded by Neptune, a significant number of extremely distant KBOs don't. 
Their orbits appear to be aligned at a distant point. Thank you for watching and see you next time.